Hey, hey, YouTube. This is Cedar Smoke 67, and today we have the Romeo 505 Nicaraguan. Stay tuned. All of the lights. All right, YouTube. The Romeo 505 Nicaraguan. Beautiful rapper coloring. I'm talking about that chocolate color. Very earthy smell. I love the band on this. The contrast with this color, it it just works for me. I, I don't know about anybody else who's tried the cigar, but it works for me. I love it. It popped in me. Um, and that's why I bought this cigar. And that's why I want to review it for you. So you know if it's good or if it's bad. But look at the cap on it. I think this is called a double cap, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it looks kind of thick. So we'll get into the cutting of it and the toasting. And we'll um, learn about this cigar as we go on the first and the last third of the cigar, but the smell of this cigar is so good. Oh man, I can't wait to get into this. So without further ado, let's get into the cutting and the toasting of the Romeo 5 cigar. We brought back our little friend, the V cutter for this 505. Try that again. Okay, a little tough, but I think it's a double cap. So I'm not mistaken, it's a little, little tough, but we got it. I did a cross pattern just to get it because it was so thick. I did a double cut on it just to get a nice pull up out of this cigar. Hey, hey, let's get into the toasting of this cigar. Not bad, not bad at all. It has a very, very earthy taste to it. Very earthy. Um, aged tobacco is right there, right up front. The spice is absent, no spice right now. I believe there's gonna be some at the end of this cigar just because of this Maduro wrapper that's on here, but I could be I could be wrong, but there's no spice right now. It's, it's, it's absent at all. But that aged tobacco is 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 up front. That's the first thing you taste is that aged tobacco. Then that earth comes in there and that aged cedar is right behind it. So. I like it. From these initial pulls on this cigar, I like it. Um, but we'll see how it goes in the first third. See you. Hey, hey, you two. We're back with the first third of the Romeo 505 Nicaraguan. Look at the ash on that thing. Honestly, it got some spice to it. When I said at first, the spice jumped out of nowhere, like out of the shadows of the cigar from the darkness, I guess. It just jumped out and it bit me in the back of the throat. And it was very harsh. But once it got warmed up, it died down a little bit more. And that cocoa taste showed up more. And that cedar taste and that tobacco. It's a mild, it's not very um, pungent or strong. It's a mild cigar. So that flavor notes in there are very mild. Um, they, they haven't become apparent yet. So I think once we get into the second third of this cigar, it'll show you. On to the second third. All right. We're back with the second third of this cigar and. It got better. The cocoa has taken over and started driving. 
that spice has taken a back seat to this cocoa. The tobacco has taken a back seat to the cocoa. The cocoa is driving this whole cigar now, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it because it's different. It's still a light, medium body smoke. It's not a heavy smoke. You would think it would be with the wrapper color, but it's very light. It's a medium body smoke. Let me say that. Very medium body. The cocoa is great. That cedar is there. That aged tobacco is there. But it's just a cocoa flavor. The spice is not bad. It's okay on the ash, but we'll see in the final third. See you then. Hey, hey. All right. We are in the final third of this Romeo 505 Nicaraguan cigar. And it was great. The cocoa stayed in the front race. The cedar was right behind it. Then that aged tobacco. And then that spice was right there at the end. Those were the flavor notes. And that's how it pretty much stayed. Especially when you retro held this cigar. But other than that, it was a pretty good cigar. And... Let's get into my rating of the cigar. You know, my rating scale is from zero to 10. I would put this cigar right at a four, honestly, because of it's a light body cigar. It's very light to medium body cigar, honestly. It's not that strong. It's not that full body. It doesn't have those robust flavors that I would like it to have from the looks of it. That wrapper is fooling you. It does not give you that boldness of flavor. It doesn't give you that hit of accent notes and everything. It doesn't give you that. So I'm going to rate it at a four. The price note is between five and seven dollars which isn't bad for this cigar. I think this cigar needs a little more aging on it. And I'm going to age the ones that I have left in my humidor for probably six months. And then I'm going to come back and do another review on it. And then I'm going to do one for a year. And I'm going to come back and do a review on that and see how it changes from this review today. But other than that, it was a great cigar. Um, I rated a four. If you want to try it, go out and try it. It's not a bad stick to have in your humidor for the price point, but it's not as full body or robust as you would think it is from the wrapper. So if you would like to get you a Nicaraguan, um, I mean a Romeo 505 Nicaraguan cigar, go to your local brick and mortar or you can go online. I got mine in my local brick and mortar between five and seven dollars. So I'll see you next time on the next review. This is Cedar Smoke 67. I'm out.